Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marque of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Living Streams, we meet behind the trade fair behind Zenith College, right under your screen over there. The indicators are there. We meet on Sundays and on Wednesdays, Sundays in the morning, and for our midweek services in the evening, Wednesdays. Now, I, I like to capture my thoughts this uh, morning with a simple caption, 12 times 12. And I know you're going to run quickly and say, 144, right? Shows that you know your timetable when you were a kid. But guess what? I'm going somewhere different with it. And you'll be very surprised. 12 by 12 is equal to order. 12 by 12 or 12 times 12 is equal to order. In 1 Kings chapter 19, verse 19 onwards, we meet a situation where, if you remember, the Bible says there was a young man who God spoke to Elijah. His name was Elisha. And God spoke to Elijah and said, listen, go and anoint Elisha and go and anoint him and to be prophet in thy state. So God said, Elisha should be anointed. But now I find something very interesting. The Bible says in the fields of Abel Mahola, Elisha, the son of Shaphat, was plowing with 12 yoke of oxen and he was on the 12. Elisha was plowing with 12 yoke of oxen and he was on the 12. Now, if you also remember when um, Elijah in, in 1 Kings chapter 18, when he was going to call down fire, if you remember, when he was also going to call down fire, the Bible says he picked 12 stones and laid the 12 stones and put them back together before he prayed for the fire. So this 12 is very, very significant. And I like to say 12 is the number for divine order. 12 is the number for divine order. 12 tribes of Israel and 12 apostles. 12 is a number for divine order and 12 is a number for divine government. And 12 is the number that God chose for divine order and divine government. And see what? The Bible says Elisha was plowing with, with 12 yoke of oxen and he was on the 12. You know what he was doing? His life was in order. That young man knew what it means to be in order. And one of the things that I found out about the prophetic Anybody in the prophetic who doesn't understand divine order will make a chaos out of his ministry. Order is very, very important. That is doing things the right way and for the right reason. That is order. Putting our lives in order is a very, very important thing for our promotion. If you remember Titus 1.5, Paul said to uh, Titus, For this cause left I thee in Crete, that thou shouldest set in order the things that are wanting and then ordain elders. So before the promotion of people to the st uh, state of eldership, they had to, some things needed to be put in order. And guess what? Elisha was plowing with 12 yoke of oxen, and he was on the 12th. That means he has learned to order his life. He had learned to put his life in order. You'll be very, very surprised. Some people, they are in order, but their mouths are not in order. Some people are in order, but their tongues are not in order. And some people are in order, but forgive me, they are in order from all the way up to their belt, below belt, no order. The Bible said, Elisha was plowing and he was plowing with the 12 yoke of oxen. So he had learned to walk in order. He had learned to put his life in order. Order is so important. The people do not even see the, listen, in Genesis chapter 1, the Bible says, The earth was without form and void, and darkness covered the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Hear this, the plural, waters. So the Spirit of God, people were saying the Spirit of God was positioning himself. He wasn't positioning himself to do the bidding of the Father. No. He was moving from, jumping from one water to the other. That is a sign of restlessness. And see, God put everything in order before he breathed into man his spirit. And that was when the spirit settled. Till then, jumping from one place to the other. That 
a sign of disorder, a sign of chaos and disorder. The Bible says the earth was out form and void. That word there is chaos and disorder. God doesn't like chaos. God doesn't like disorder. And sometimes the pathway to promotion is stifled or the pathway to promotion is, has stumbling blocks and those stumbling blocks are blocks of disorder. For Elisha to be, to be touched by the, by the cloak of Elijah, he was plowing with 12 yoke of oxen and he was on the 12. That means he had learned to put his life in order. The Bible says the steps of the righteous are all dead by God. God will want us to walk in order. God will want us to understand what divine order is. And there are things that people do sometimes that is disorder. And they want God to come crown it. He wouldn't do that. He's a God of order. Step upon step, precept upon precept, line upon line. That's the God we serve. Elisha was doing 12 by 12 and it was equal to order. And that was a prerequisite for his promotion. Learn to walk in order. See you later.